week we watch episode on Earth fly and meet up some very talented sports people. Some of our fellows were invited to be part of a very special event. Let's see what they got up to. It was a very early start for six of our contact fellows last Friday. Up at 5 a.m., dressed and ready to drive out to Alice Springs Airport before the sun came up. Qantas News plane, a Boeing Dreamliner 7879, series arrived in Alice Springs. It was really good catching up with John Moriarty at the breakfast. The only time it will ever land here for its official Australian unveiling. We're just waiting for the plane to arrive and with a fantastic artwork, yeah. We got up real early and came to Alice Springs Airport and we just watched the plane land and to me um, it's probably something to be proud of. It looks um, fantastic, yeah. Came is named after the indigenous artist who painted over 3,000 pieces of art reflecting on her utopia homeland. Over 60 graphic designers, painters and engineers took more than 10 days to paint about 5,000 dots of the culturally important yam plant on the plane. Just a little challenge out there to the family, but being a pilot is definitely a journey you can achieve. The fellas watched AFL legend Adam Goods, who was an excellent host for the event share with everyone how the artwork came to be used. Thanks to the support from so many people and organizations, her family were very happy as this became a very memorable time for all. We have got the most ancient languages on earth and they're still spoken on our streets. Art that is older than the pyramids. As Qantas sponsor the Quantas Academy's Australian World, it was great for the fellows to be invited to be part of this special event. Hello, you're uh, Another special event we enjoyed was a visit from some Commonwealth World athletes as part of the Queen's baton relay that went through Alice Springs. They took us through some exercises and training routines to help us wake up. Let's have a look. For me, sport has been a pathway of education, both in being a better human being, but taking the best version of myself everywhere that I go. My name's Ben Harradine. I am a discus thrower who's represented Australia now for 20 years. Uh, I came to Alice Springs and I'm very grateful that I did um, because I was here for the Queen's Baton Relay. Uh, so the Commonwealth Games uh, Association brought me here and uh, we, yesterday we did the Queen's Baton Relay which was an incredible honour for me. Um, being a Commonwealth gold medalist I was super stoked to run through the streets of Alice with the, with the baton and um, just be amazed by the support and, and uh, the community that's been here. Hello, my name is Anthony Nish, I'm from Elliot. 
Hello, my name is David Jones and I'm from Elliot. Hello, my name is Reese Raven, but I'm from Elliot. This morning we woke up early in the morning. We went to um, Klonta Foundation to have a train in the Oval. And we get to meet this guy's thrower. And yeah, we, we just trained with him and enjoying all the fun we had for, uh, with him. Yesterday um, was a great opportunity to connect with the community and, and um, a lot of people came up and, and wanted to have photos and ask a bunch of great questions, which was an opportunity for me to share some of my experience and my knowledge with the locals and also learn some things uh, from how the community out here in Alice and, and the neighbouring communities are so successful. Uh, and I think that's awesome that we can share knowledge in every journey that we take. The things that I that I value the most I've learnt through sport and it's been a great pathway for me, learning and travelling and meeting new people but learning from their experiences and their wisdom and it gives me a great knowledge that I can share out here in communities like Alice and uh, I think there isn't really one particular form formula that, that inspires people but I think that the best thing to do and I've also talked a lot about the last few days is to own your own journey, to be the captain of your own ship and to be accountable for yourself. Um, those are the things that I find have been most successful in my career. I enjoyed playing footy with the fellas and getting to uh, meet Ben, the disc thrower. So when I first got to Alice, it's been a bit of a whirlwind, a uh, short stay, and I was able to see some of the great sights that are around here in the day. But the opportunity to come out here to Urara College first thing in the morning at daybreak and uh, enjoy some sport with the kids was super special. Not only did we get to see the beautiful nature and the scenery as the sun rose up over Alice Springs, but we also got to see a great bunch of kids who were enthusiastic and enjoyed being out at that hour uh, playing sport, playing footy and just getting around it. I, I think it was such positive energy and really fun morning and I'm super grateful to have had this opportunity to come out to Yurara College and um, spend the time uh, with the teachers and the, and the students here. When we finished training, Ben came and joined us for breakfast. Being this, this is a, probably going to be my last Commonwealth Games, I've been able to reflect a little bit on my own career and being able to do this full circle. I started in Melbourne in 2006 and here I am uh, for my last Commonwealth Games on the Gold Coast. But what I've been able to reflect on the most is one of the kids this morning asked me, do you get paid a lot of money throwing discus? And my answer to that question was, well, if you value everything with a dollar sign, I think then you can. The easy answer is no. But what I think that I value most, and what I got from from this, was an incredible education to be out here uh, as a sports person in Alice, meeting kids, connecting with kids, just being a person. You know, like I'm a human. I, people can touch me. People can talk to me. Um, I don't see myself as anything other than just a person who has dedicated their life to sport and, and enjoyed it. And I'm so grateful to be able to share my journey in every community I go to, but especially now here in Alice Springs. We had lots of fun. See ya! Hey, I'm Melissa Tapper and I'm an Australian table tennis player. I'm Tarita Blake, I'm from the Dungutty tribe and I do athletics. We've come to Alice Springs to be a part of the Queen's Relay Baton and yesterday we had the chance to spend time with the locals. So we're really excited to get to be in Alice Springs, especially at the Clontarf and we're really hoping to have the opportunity to share our stories, our journeys and the great opportunities that we've been able to have through sport. Yesterday was really exciting down at Todd Mall getting to play table tennis with the locals. That was a lot of fun to have everyone come over and play and then as well going out for dinner with a few representatives of Alice Springs as well it was a really nice touch to finish off uh, the day. I'm from the athletics background and like there's kids there that are 400 runners. I'm actually a 400 runner so it was good to sit there and talk about um, where, what they do, what their favourite event is and um, then having photos with them so hopefully as you said we can inspire them to um, achieve their goals. I'm Danielle here interviewing Cathy and Daniels. What did you do this morning, Cathy? We got to meet Melissa and Tarita. We got to do exercise with them and donuts for breakfast. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, could you tell us what the ladies talked to you about this morning? Uh, they later talked about um, how did they get into Oli the Olympics and how did they, um, they done a lot of trainings and everything. And yeah, they got a lot of supports from families, <laughs> friends, coaches. We had lots of fun! Bye! <laughs> That's your TV for this week. Be sure to always do the right things and help our families to be proud of us and to feel good. Bye!